Breaking news right now. The family of a worker killed at the plastics factory in East Tennessee is now suing the factory and its owner. Let's get right to WSMV4 investigator Courtney Allen. Uh, Courtney, multiple factory workers died, and this lawsuit alleges it all could have been prevented. Lauren Tima issued a state of emergency for East Tennessee on Thursday, September 26th, but the lawsuit alleges Impact Plastics still made people come to work the following day to meet production quotas. One of those workers was 55-year-old Johnny Peterson. As flooding from Hurricane Helene hit the factory, the lawsuit says he and several other employees asked to leave work, but they were not given permission to. Instead, the lawsuit says management only instructed them to move cars to higher ground. As employees made their way out of the factory, they were met with a parking lot full of water. The lawsuit alleges there was no emergency action plan in place, and despite the factory being in a flood zone, going on to say the company company ignored warnings and put lives in danger to fill the order. The wrongful death lawsuit is filed on behalf of Peterson's oldest daughter, Alexa. I want everyone who made a choice that day and made the wrong choice to answer for their actions. I want to hear what their explanation was and why they made the choices that they made. We reached out to the attorneys representing both Impact Plastics and its founder, Gerald O'Connor, for comment. We have not heard back. If we do, you'll see their response on our WSMB4 app. Tracy? All right, Courtney Allen, thank you. Right now